Finally this evening, the JSE index fell by around 86,500 basis points on Wednesday, following South Africa's medium-term budget speech. Now, Finance Minister Inokotong Gwana warned of increasing fiscal deficits and debt over the next three years, despite a slight improvement in the growth outlook. This presents challenges for the new 10-party administration in enhancing output and employment while stabilising finances. Furthermore, the rand declined by 1.4% earlier this afternoon as market reactions to the address were mixed. Stock analyst Mushima Dharma shares in insights rather on the market's response to the medium-term budget policy statement. So our Finance Minister Inokodonga presented his midterm budget speech this afternoon at 2, which is now termed the mini-budget speech and is the first budget speech since our coalition government in June. What is it about? It sets the objectives of the government regarding fiscal policies. It includes the revenues and spending done by the government and how it acquires and allocates money. Why is it important? Because it affects our GDP, investor confidence and the movement of the rand, all of which affects the man in the street. And let me explain how. When I say it, imp it impacts investor confidence, I mean it affects how investors locally and internationally feel about South Africa's economic status and how government is utilizing funds. Now, if they are not confident in that, share prices are likely to pull back, which will then affect your retirement annuity fund, the money that you will receive when you've retired. Of course, if they feel optimistic about South Africa's economy and how government is spending, this will then cause share prices to go up, thereby benefiting your RA. When it comes to the movement of the RAND, though a weaker RAND is good for our exports, it makes our imports quite expensive. And South Africa has been a net importer for some time now. We import things like oil for gas, uh, oil for fuel rather, um, machineries, uh, electronic goods, certain, you know, the list goes on, commodities, vehicles. Let me just put it this way. A weaker rand does not benefit us consumers as well as business confidence because we will feel the pinch somewhere along the line. Now, the RAND weakened by 1.4% this afternoon, and it seems as if investors have mixed sentiment about the, the budget speech. Most speculators seem happy about, um, you know, the government's initiative regarding uh, infrastructure spending via public sector, which then means it could create jobs and boost GDP. But they are a bit disappointed with the fiscal deficit, which although that figure has improved, it is still high. It simply means that the government does not have enough money to cover our country's expenses.